Hey everyone, it's me King. Welcome back to King's Bad Channel. We are back to the Assassin build. Assassin can wield two types of weapon, Kata and Dagger. The previous video we had discussed about the Dagger build Assassin. This time let's look at the Kata build Assassin. If you are interested for the Dagger build Assassin, I will put the link at the video description below so you can watch it. In general, Assassin is very dependent on the equipment state. To fully experience the Assassin potential, you need to get your equipment to a complete setup. That being said, if you are a casual or free player, Assassin is not recommended to play. However, if you do not mind for some hardship and most importantly loves to play Assassin, get on the right, we are going to explore more in this video. In this video, we are going to discuss first about the stat point distribution, second the skill set, and lastly the equipment. So let's get into it. Alright, the first one, the stat point distribution. Now, Katar Assassin relies on fast basic crit attack to deal burst damage. This means that Katar Assassin focus is on having high attack damage and high attack speed to deal crit damage. High attack damage relies on main attribute strength. To get high attack speed, we need edgy state, and to get crit damage, we need luck. With these three components in mind, now which is more important? Should we get strength for higher attack damage, or should we put the skill point on edgy to get faster attack speed, or should we up the luck state instead to proc the crit damage? It can all be confusing. And before you know it, you have spent hours contemplating on which part to go first. Now, let's break it down one by one. We will focus on having more attack damage from our stat point, meaning we will put all stat point to strength. The more strength we have, the more physical damage we get. For attack speed, we will focus to have more attack speed in our equipment. We can easily increase our attack speed by using the right accessories and talisman. We will discuss more about this in equipment later. As for the crit, we will get the crit from our equipment and most importantly from our skill. Alright, now move on to the skill set. Katar Assassin relies on fast basic attack crit damage to deal burst damage. Unlike Dagger Assassin who can get the double attack early on in the game with the double attack skill, the Crit Assassin will only be getting their crit skill, the Qatar Mastery skill on job level 2 which can increase the crit state. So in the early game, we will focus on leveling up for level 2 job change. In the process, we will rely on our attack speed and attack damage. So first thing first, up the brute force skill to level 1 so we can use this skill for extra attack damage. Next up, the improved dodge skill to max. This skill will increase our attack when we successfully dodge the target's attack. Up the enchant poison skill to level 5 to activate venom knife skill. Up the venom knife skill to level 1 for the extra damage. Up the detoxify skill to dispel poison debuff in party. This is useful when doing eternal tower and instances whereby some stages will have poison debuff to party members. So put one point is enough. Now the hiding and ambush skill is mainly for PvP because of the stun effect. To activate the ambush skill, first you need to up the hiding skill to level 5. So that will use a lot of skill point. So we will not want to have this skill unless for PvP. The remaining skill will be used on second job skill. On second job skill, now this is when we really on the path to Qatar Crit Assassin. First of all, up the Qatar Mastery skill to max. At max level, this skill will increase our crit by 100%, meaning it will double up the amount of crit that we have. For example, I have 22 crit which increase the final crit chance by 4.4%. With full level Qatar Mastery skill, it will increase the crit by 100% which means it will add another 22 crit to the state to 44. In another word, it doubles the crit state. The crit right now is rather low, 
but it will gradually increase when the accessories is changed to level 40 accessories with crit state. We will talk about that later in equipment section. Next, you can increase either Shadow Blade skill or Sonic Blow skill first. If you feel that you are lacking attack speed, then you want to increase the Shadow Blade skill to max. This skill can increase your attack speed. Then after that, up the Sonic Blow skill to level 5. When the Sonic Blow skill at level 5, the Supersonic Blow passive skill will be unlocked. This skill can increase further the Sonic Blow damage. At the same time, whenever your normal attack deal a critical attack, the Sonic Blow skill cooldown will decrease by 1 second. So increase the Supersonic Blow skill to max. After that, put the Sonic Blow skill to max. Consider to put one skill point on rollaway skill for the ability to dash away from lethal blow from bosses and PvP. Now put one point on Venom Dust skill. This skill when used can cause the target to be poisoned. And after all is done, up the skill for poison best skill. Up the enchant poison and enhance enchant poison to max. Now green tooth skill is mainly for PvP because of the stun effect. So consider to up this skill if you are going for PvP or you have more skill points. The Sonic Blow skill is also for PvP because of the stun effect. However, because of its passive skill, we can use it more often in general, like farming EXP. Alright, that's it for the skill set. Moving on to the equipment. Okay, first of all, let's look at the accessories and talisman. The level 25 accessories and talisman from the Golden Thief Bug instance have a really good stat for attack and attack speed. Strengthening and refining it will increase the final attack speed. Strengthening and refining the weapon will also increase the final attack speed. So we can get most of our attack speed by strengthening and refining the gear. Currently, my attack speed combined is at around 226%. When you have enough attack speed, like 200% attack speed to 500%, you can change the accessories to have a crit state, the level 40 accessories from the second instance. Let me show you real quick. This one. At 300% attack speed, you will notice a significant speed on your attack. The attack speed can still be improved further to 500 attack speed with noticeable change. If improved further, you can hardly see any difference on the attack speed. So the best line, I suggest that you start introduce crit to your equipment when you reach attack speed around 300%. Is also applied to the enchantment state. For enchantment, we should focus on the state that increases physical damage and crit. When landing crit attack, the standard crit damage is twice the amount of the normal damage. Similar for the card, we should focus on cards that can increase physical damage. In this game, critical attack is already ignore defense, so having more physical damage state will benefit our normal attack and the crit damage. As for the other equipment, just use whatever good equipment that is available to you based on your level. The higher grade equipment you can get, the better. Well, that's it for Assassin Qatar type build. I hope this video helps you on your Assassin Qatar crit build. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.